Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. But in today's video, I'm gonna be vlogging. I have my phone. I am not taking my camera because I just don't feel like carrying a whole bunch of stuff. But I'm going to get a face shoot today. And this will be my very first Hydra face shoot. Um, I'm not typically used to getting face shoes. I believe I only had one in my life. And that's probably because I fear breaking out from any type of stuff that they use. Um, I have never had acne, so I'm always cautious on what I put on my skin. But I have been watching a lot of videos and these ladies, their skin looks so moist after. Um, I'm not gonna lie, the services are pretty expensive. So it really depends on how often I would have to do this if I'm gonna keep up with the hydro face shoe opposed to just regular face shoes on a regular basis. But I'm gonna try to ask as many questions as I possibly can um, and see what I can get for you guys just in case you guys wanna try it out. So if you have any type of skin like mine or if you have acne, the one girl she had, she had some acne and even after she just did the hydro, her skin just looked, it just looked fresh. She still had her acne, of course, but her skin just looked really, really, really fresh. And I actually need to go back to see if she did like a follow-up and stuff. But um, I would probably recommend it if I really, really like it. So once I'm done with everything, I'm going to let you guys know how I like it, if I do, if I don't. Um, and this is not a paid sponsorship or anything like that. It's just something that I thought about doing. And um, so I am gonna have a lot of questions for her. Hopefully they let me film on the inside and I can let you guys see everything. So, but here's my skin before. And maybe I'll do an insert of another one outside cause I am in the house, but um, that's it. I'm greasy. Well, I'm not greasy, I'm moist, I'm moist. So I'll bring you guys on the inside when I get there and I'll probably vlog inside the car a little bit um, when I get there. All right guys, so, see you. Yeah, so I'm gonna bring you, you guys with me and then to I'm gonna road. see if I can ask as many questions as I possibly can, you know, just so that this video is not like redundant to like other ones that I've seen. Um, we all have different skin types and stuff, so hopefully this will help some of you guys. Again, I'll give you a background on my skin. I grew up on <laughs> Vaseline. My mom was a avid Vaseline pusher. <laughs> okay, uh, up until literally, I'm 40, probably up until like 38, 39. Um, and sometimes I still dabble in it, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. And it has not done anything negative to my skin physically. Um, I, I don't know what's going on underneath, but. It hasn't done anything negative physically to my skin. Um, I will say this, that I do feel like it's helped me with like, if I get like a, a pimple or something, um, it's supposed to clog your pores, but honestly, if I had like a mark or something and I just put the Vaseline on, it literally like wipes away my mark. I'm so serious. So, you know, I know it's, it's a petroleum jelly and it's not great for your skin, but I, I personally think do what works for your skin. Do not jump on trends and stuff. Um, try to keep your face hydrated. We are getting older, we're not getting younger. And just take care of your skin. When you do wear makeup, um, make sure you're double cleansing your face. You know, I double cleanse twice a day. And um, I do not exfoliate because I sometimes feel like I kind of break out a little bit. But I did try it again recently and I put my face shoe cleanser first, left it on my face and put a little bit of the exfoliating product on top of it and I didn't have any issues. So maybe for my skin, I need to have a layer of something on it on top of, you know, before I put on the scrub, the exfoliating scrub. But I'll take you guys on the inside once I get there. I'm not gonna run a hole in your ear about skincare because I'm not a skin guru. <laughs> I just know what works for me. And I will see you guys in a second once I get there on the inside like i said hopefully they let me film on the inside and then i can show you guys the whole process hopefully i can get some good angles and stuff because i am by myself so i will see you guys in a second when i get there all right guys all right so i'm here no one has on a mask of course but you know i do where's the people at I 
guess I'm just gonna wait here. But anyway, I'm here. And it looks like they use Moroccan oil. Well, they're selling it. Aveda. They have a bunch of stuff here. But I'll see when I get inside and just give you guys a little tour. Hi. Great. I have a 1130. What's the first name? Sanaya. Yes. Do you need to use the restroom before we go back? I do. Right, so I'm here. I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm trying to fill it out. I will let you guys know how I like it after. Um, so you guys can see my skin. No one has on a mask in here, so you guys know I'm paranoid. But anyway, here's my skin. I will see you guys in a second. Hopefully I can film on the inside, so I'll be right back. session is like 75 minutes um but no I think it's 90 minutes yeah um, I'm gonna see what else she thinks that I need for my skin I may not need on a lot but I'm not an esthetician so we shall see what she says I'm hoping that I have been taking care of my skin great well good enough <laughs> to where I don't need a lot of stuff but I'm excited. I just, I can't wait for the shine on my face. So, I'm going to just do a quick close-up for you guys. I don't have anything on my face. My eyebrows are so horrible. But, hopefully she lets me film on the inside for you guys. So, you guys can know if you want to do something like this. And, um, I'm not sure what her nationality is or anything like that. I know a lot of black girls like to go to, well, African-American girls like to go to, um, other African-American estheticians, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So wish me luck, guys, and I will see you in the room. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right, guys, so I'm in the bed, and I had to take off my bra. I gotta take off my bra, so we'll see. Here you guys can see my tattoo when I was a rebel. So I'm gonna try to film as much as I can here um, when she's doing it. So I don't know how it's gonna come out. I'm gonna try my best for you. So, and then I just ask her some questions and just hold it up in front of me and not not get her on camera or anything like that. No. Um, yeah, the only thing I can say is um, the stuff that I do use on my skin, uh -huh. um, as far as exfoliating, uh -huh. um, I tried it out twice, and the first time, it was a gentle exfoliating, but I um, I kind of had like a little irritation, so yes. when I tried it again, I actually put it on top of my cream cleanser. Okay. So I felt like I needed something on my skin. You're right. Mm -hmm. You're right. You did the right thing. Yeah. Because, um, well, let me wash your skin mm -hmm. and I will have a better idea of how to work in secret. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, I did so good. I did good. Skin. 
can. I did good for 40. Oh my god. <laughs> if anybody, if I could, <laughs> your skin is better than mine for sure. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of steam. Mm -hmm. So, which part do you want to? So, I. Okay, so I think that I have dry skin. I have no idea if I have oily. I have no idea if I have combination. But prior to, okay, I never used to wear makeup, just to give you a little background. Mm -hmm. And recently, maybe a year, mm -hmm. I started wearing foundation. Oh my God, why do you need to? <laughs> <laughs> prior to that, I used to put Vaseline on my face. That is very interesting my whole life, like entire life. <laughs> you know what, I think you are just lucky because normally Vaseline, mm -hmm. you will break out from that because it's, Vaseline is just shields your skin, mm -hmm. it's like a plastic. You put plastic, like a ceramic plastic mm -hmm. and, and doesn't breathe, doesn't do anything, but it protects from outside environment. So let's see, you some kind of nasty environment, the, the pollution, you know, mm -hmm. so you kind of protect it. <laughs> you know? So I stopped using that and then I just started, you know, using the hyaluronic acid. Mm -hmm. But I don't even know if I use everything that I'm supposed to use. I just know that I try to avoid. Okay, so I think with your skin, less is the better. Yeah. But you still have to have a right routine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Minimum, like, you know, five steps, what we call, mm -hmm. which is cleansing, toning, mm -hmm. the moisturizer, and maybe a little bit eye product, you know? Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. And I would go, since you're on good side to your skin, I would go as much as possible with um, organic, more natural skin. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't go any harsh mm -hmm. or anything. So. Yeah. And I'm vegan. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah. It makes sense. Right? <laughs> well, but I do know, what's, um, what's derma, derma planning? Because I've planning. seen... No, planning. you don't need them. Okay. The dermaplaning, what is it? Just, just think a razor blade. Mm -hmm. Somebody just shaving your face. So I don't. You don't need it. Okay. Because I know my face is so much darker than um, everywhere else. So I thought. Okay, so that the reason could be for that, you know, sun, uh, sun mm -hmm. probably summertime gets a little bit worse, isn't it? Mm hmm. The color wise. And um, you can. Definitely, sunscreen will mm -hmm. support. It will, you know, protect. Got it. Because your body is not always open to the sun, you know. Mm -hmm. and right. Your face is always here, so <laughs> it's inevitable. So I think also to like blackheads and stuff. I know, like I, I try my best to clean around my nose. How do you clean? Uh, just extra. I just try to push it when I okay. yeah. <laughs> But I've never done like an extensive one. Mm -hmm. I may not need it, not sure, but. Is this camera in the way? Okay, so yes, overall you have a nice skin. You do have a black hair, you're right. Mm -hmm. So your nose area got a little bit more clogged. Mm -hmm. And then the chin. chin mm -hmm. Not too bad, but I do see some on your chin area. And um, teeny tiny micro hair, here, but it's not like a issue. This is what I'm saying, like when you said like micro mm -hmm. um, bleeding, that could be removed. You know, but micro bleeding. Some people they just don't like to have their fuzz, you know, mm -hmm. or you know, all kinds of. But it's not the really issue for your skin. So it looks like you have here with the breakout or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. That happened yes yesterday. Mm -hmm. Something bit me. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. But it went down. Like it goes down. I'm pretty good with like if I do get bit, it'll go right down. Okay. Right away. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really scar. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, are you here first time? Mm -hmm. nice. So, do you have any? Uh, Anything like this? Yeah, so I'm gonna use. I think I have 150. 150, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Good, lucky you. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so what I see, your skin is really super dry, actually. Yeah, that's what I know. Mm -hmm, very dry. So uh, your routine, I noticed it's not appropriate either. So mm -hmm. we can talk about that, mm -hmm. uh, how to do home care routine. Mm -hmm. But right now, so uh, it's fully up to you. Any facial, it's actually good for you. Okay. However, if you want to just never have anything, I want to jump off on the most advanced and great hydration mm -hmm. that will be the hydro facial mm -hmm. that is 255 mm -hmm. but you got amazing 150 dollars already no it's okay i my plan was to do the hydro okay so since your birthday you said you yeah, know, yeah <laughs> then uh, you don't have any shellfish allergy anything no okay like you can have iodine salt and food mm -hmm. iodine based mm -hmm. yes. okay Okay, so that will give actually more thorough um, exfoliating also. It's okay. like a hydrogen abrasion, so it removes the dead layers. Okay. Okay. So before that, I will use very gentle um, um, enzyme. Mm -hmm. So it's going to start helping the skin. So how often, okay, so hydrofacial, how often, because it's pricey. It is. So try the hydrofacial. Some people, I mean, you can do every if you want to. You can do every two weeks. Oh. Or, <laughs> I'm I'm just saying like you can, but mm -hmm. you don't have to. Mm -hmm. So then also you can do monthly. Okay. Some people will come purely just for that monthly. I have a few clients they just love it. Okay. Everything. Yeah, that sounds about. Yeah, but. Again, with some people, with the price-wise, we like to alternate. So we will do something basic, maybe one time, mm -hmm. every other time, or even like a once a, in a like a three times, for example. Three times we'll do just the, or they will do just for the certain occasion. It depends on the quality of the skin. Like mm -hmm. you can get away without. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to just stick with the natural, we do have actually organic facial too. Yeah, that was the other one I saw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can do that next time. That one is very nice. And so maybe I could do. Okay. So how often should I do a facial? Normally, it's the once a month is ideal. Okay. But really, only for four weeks. Okay. So maybe hydro facial one month. And a home mm -hmm. routine every day, of course. Yeah. And then next few month we can do mm -hmm. something different. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna try this out. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. And you know what? I a lot of my friends say, "Oh, you have really nice skin," but I feel mm -hmm. I feel dry. Yes. Yeah. And partially, in fact, that. One thing with your skin, because it was out of pH balance, mm -hmm. this is why you're feeling dry. Mm. Let's say you use the Neutrogena cleanser mm -hmm. and you don't apply with the toner after that. Mm -mm. So your pH balance is fully stripped away. Got it. So you need to bring that back and your skin is more dry naturally already. Mm -hmm. So you, uh, to bring for your skin your pH balance, it takes like forever, like seven to eight hours. Mm. You have to really sweat hard to make your own pH balance, yeah. and skin doesn't like it. Like somebody, if oily, they will start break out actually, because skin mm -hmm. will be working so hard to mm -hmm. bring the pH uh, balance itself. But for that reason, uh, I will show you the organic actually. Mm -hmm. an amazing color, you're gonna love it. Okay. It gives a very nice glow and mm -hmm. it just looks cool. And that's after, so this is my facial routine. Mm -hmm. So I clean my face with um, like a micellar, like cleansing water mm -hmm. first. Um, well, actually, no. I use the <laughs> Neutrogena face wipes to get off the makeup. makeup. Okay. And then I use the water, the cleansing water. And then I use my 
Neutrogenic cream cleanser. <laughs> and then I use another cleanser. Ooh, I, oh, okay. So it's too many cleansers. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad you've been using cream cleanser though. Mm -hmm. Because that probably saved you painful. Mm. Yeah, I, mean, I use that for like years. Harsh, soapy, so no, no. Yeah. No. Um, okay, and now I need one of your hands because while we're waiting, the stuff is working on your mm -hmm. face. It's actually mango steel peel. Mm -hmm. And then I'll, I will do just you with your hands. Oh, okay. Brightening, it's overall the serum, mm -hmm. special serum, so it's gonna give more glow, more firmness. And, and this is the actual hydrate. Hydrate. This is not hydrating yet. Okay. So this is the treatment leave on the skin. Okay. And after this, I will do the hydration. Okay. of the skin and also soothing the skin after extractions rubs up it goes deep to the skin so it will help to produce more collagen Look at my skin, guys. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> oh my god, I have to come back next month. <laughs> I'll give you guys a play by play once I get home or something. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this feels so good. Mm -hmm. Alright, guys. Bye. And her name is Rosa. Can anybody just come here? Even yes, though it's yes. A... Okay. Anybody can come here. You don't need to be a member. Okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. So I'll give you guys all the spiel on that when I get home. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. <laughs> so guys, she just finished my face. And I know it looks a little greasy, but 
it felt really good. I'll let you guys get another view when I um, sit in my car. Yeah. I'm gonna try to stay out of the sun because she said she didn't put SPF because my skin was kind of dry. Ah. Okay. <sighs> so, what do you guys think? I'm so moist. She put some stuff called can, can, camellia, a canela, canela oil. Um, but my skin feels so great. I'm a little moist, more so from this morning. But so she did say that my skin was dry, and that I was probably using too much cleanser on my skin. And I also was missing a toner step. So I purchased, you know, they try to get you to purchase stuff, but I'm the type of person that <laughs> I'm not going to keep going back and forth trying to find stuff. So she did use this on my skin and I like She did tell me to get this here. Um, I don't know. Can you guys see that? And it's like 38 bucks. So... I'm going to use it for now. Not saying that I'm going to keep it, but I, I, I didn't want to go on a hunt for one right now. So it's a hydrating mist, but it's a toner. So this is the step that I was missing, which is probably why my skin felt dry because I wasn't balancing the pH balance back out after cleansing it. So this is it. And it seems like you can only get it from here, but she says some people, find, they're finding it other places. Um... I don't know. I'm going to see. But this location that I went to is in Johns Creek in Atlanta, in Georgia. Um, it's at the Lifetime Fitness. But she was really, really good. She was really, really good. Um, I got pretty good footage. I hope it's enough to make a decent vlog for you guys. Because it was so... She, she massaged my hands. She massaged my shoulders and my upper body. She massaged my back. She massaged my feet. Um, I don't even know if all of that was, was supposed to be included, but she did it and I loved it. So that's it for today's vlog. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll go grab something to eat and bring you guys with me, but I just wanted you guys to see the face you, the hydro face you that I got and I would totally, totally recommend it. She did tell me that I didn't have bad skin. I did tell her that I used Vaseline and she's like, oh my goodness, she's surprised because most people will end up breaking out, but she's like, Honestly, it probably was a shield for a lot of the stuff and it protected your skin. So you guys know when you get into an altercation with somebody, <laughs> you put the Vaseline on, you won't scratch. Um, so that's probably what it did for me for those years that I did it. My mom used it. My sister <laughs> puts it on my nephew now. <laughs> um, so, but it didn't like really screw me up. I don't know. She did my nose too. Can you guys see my black? She, I had a little bit of blackheads. Um, she did say micro, not micro, uh, derma planning. I didn't need that. She said I could do it, but she didn't recommend it for me, which I was happy that she said that. Um, she's like, you know, she mentioned having, you know, certain layers of hair on you and protecting, which I, I do know that. So I'm glad she didn't push me to do things that I didn't need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably get a Hydra Face you every three months. And then every month I'm going to do an organic face shoot that she has. So I'm just going to start keeping track of it and going from there. Hopefully my skin can glow like I really want it to glow, guys. Well, anyway, so that's the end of this vlog for my Hydra face shoot. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.